Hi! So this is the fifth video in the series and today I'm going to talk about the weekly sales tab that I have made for you and also how um, this is actually connected with um, the tasting spreadsheet. But before I go into that, I want to show you this tab. So all the video I make for this spreadsheet, I will just keep a copy on here for the new people that comes along. They can actually see the video and understand what is going on on this spreadsheet. So um, with this spreadsheet, you have got a filter button where you can actually filter out uh the past hold on one moment you go like this and then enter so you only see um the present and the future but because um you don't have that many weeks only 52 weeks you might want to just leave it all open originally i've um i would have made this into one line like this but I realized that if I just keep it one line, some people would um, not know it's one week, even though it says weekly sales, they think it's the one day. So I just do a date from and to just for the reader, clarity for the reader. Yeah. And um, now you, ha you can see that there are three columns that has got the yellow alternating colors on. That is the only place where you can input last year's figures. Okay. Because this year's figures, you actually input it onto the main tab here. Okay. Now you can see that this is blackened off because I have actually make a connection between this one and the food tasting. So let's go into that. Now on the third row, I have made a, a little link for you. So press onto it and go to pop up and press. And then it will take you to this uh, spreadsheet. Now on this spreadsheet, I have purposely hidden um, the actual company and what you're selling because I want to keep this I want to explain to you what is going on, but at the same time, I don't want to show too much. And you see that um, within the main spreadsheet, you have got many rows, but it's actually on the same day, you see. So what I have done um, as an additional piece of work is to make one tab to add up what that day is. So 21st of April, 21st of April, and it is actually this range. Yeah, uh, hold on. Let me try and get right. This range, 278, 278. So you see, this is actually sum of the day, what you have made on that day. So therefore, um, it is actually imported. You see, this is actually imported from this. That's why I kept it in black color. If you actually decide to type into it, everything will disappear because you have created blockage. We have blocked the flow of information. So you need to delete what you have typed in and everything will come back. All right. And then for this one, what I've done is I have um, given uh, the spreadsheet um the branch event what is going on in the branch as well as the key seasonal date now if you scroll down you'll find that um everything is uh slightly mismatched on this this column see it's mismatched so you will ask why is that so that is actually taken from here and it's actually taken from here I've actually made a formula to look at the date, okay, and then read what's the event. Yeah, so the person who made it, of course, they, they would just do like all, all the Sunday dates or whatever, and they just put 
the description under that day. And therefore, it's just reading it's all completely correct, but in the wrong location. <laughs> I thought I'd tell you so that you don't get confused. You know, why, why is it all wrong? <laughs> it's not wrong. But however, if you actually wanted to move um, some of the days back, for example, this one, copy it, paste it, delete this. That's fine. Oops, sorry, hold on. Uh, control shift V. Control shift V is the pasting in the value. Yeah. If you want to do that, it's up to you. But I'm just telling you uh, what's happening on this column. Whatever you change here, this will be updated. So um, that will be 17th of June, 17th of June. Right. If this doesn't work, I, I will fix it later. So this will go up here. Yeah. Okay, I've just realigned the information. So whatever you change on here, it will update on here. Yes, so um, I've collected the information from this tab and I sum it in one day and therefore I can actually pull it onto this column. And once it's in this column, I can, because this is daily, so I can actually just pull it onto this column here um, which is on here so this is actually automated but I, I don't have last year's figures so you have to um, if you want enter last year's figures here so for example once you enter it in it will actually give you a breakdown of what you have done yeah and then for this here you can actually go onto here and do some testing so 29th of april we will do the testing here so all of these will total up to 2421 2421 so if you actually just type in some number you can actually see how it works yeah and then the footfall the footfall here you can actually go on to here and enter how many people actually came so in this week three four one let's have a look for three four one and if you actually entered what you've done last year, as in the entire week, you can actually have a grasp of how, um, how well you've done. So to sum it all up, okay, the only place where you can actually type in the text is these columns with um, alternating yellow. I purposely done this so that you know where to type. For the rest of the data, you type it onto here. You can you can only type in um, with the alternating colors as well. Yeah, that's it really. Yeah. I, anyway, um, later on I might actually make more video for you, but this time like a very simple, a very quick video on how to use the snipping tool for to capture the jpeg from here because i know um you and lucy might know how to do it katie and lucy might know how to do it but others uh, might not know this method so it's nice for them to have like a quick video where they can just watch and um do it while you're having your holiday or day off yeah Anyway, thank you. Goodbye.